What is going on, people? I am here for day number two of 31 Days Half October. I almost forgot my own title. Anyway, for those of you who don't know what this is, if you're checking this out for the first time, this is where I'm going to do 31 horror movie reviews in 31 days for the entire month of October. I kind of cheated already yesterday for day one. I didn't do a review per se, but I did a horror haul, I guess you want to call it. I got a horror pack in. I got a few movies from Amazon. I got a few movies I was uh, sent over to review for uh, someone from Facebook. So pretty much, I kind of cheated. I didn't do a review. But today starts my actual reviews where I'll do a review for a movie. I try to kind of stick to more indie titles, more lesser known title movies that maybe you've never seen before that you might want to see, especially around this time, around October, everybody likes watching horror movies. So, without further ado, I'm going to start with A, and the movie I chose is Another Wolf Cop. If you haven't seen the first one, the only thing you're really missing out is on some of the characters. They have a reoccurring role in this, but pretty much, I mean, it, it would probably be better to watch the first one, but this one doesn't really, it, the only thing that really, like I said, carries over from the first one is the characters to get no, understand who they are and what they're coming from. You'll probably have to understand, probably have to watch the first one. Anyway, let me get into uh, the specifics. It's written and directed by Lowell Dean. Uh, I'm going to butcher some of these names, I'll tell you that much. It stars uh, Leo Farfard. Uh, it stars Yannick Bison or Bison and Amy Matsio. So again, hopefully I said any of those right, among many others. So pretty much what this one has going for it. The first one, the only thing that, you know, I had a problem with was it was a little bit... I, I was expecting more of, you know, you have a wolf cop. I was expecting it more a little bit, but I didn't see it as much. This one, let's just say you have a prevalent wolf cop through the entire movie. You find out the, the cop's name is uh, Lou Garou. Uh, and in the first one, like I said, he becomes a werewolf and he's a cop and whatever. This one, he's become an alcoholic werewolf cop. And pretty much he comes out of hiding to pretty much save the town. What's going on is there's a evil businessman who, let's just say, is kind of uh, polluting. He's, he's a beer owner. I think it's called like chicken milk beer or something like that. He has a hockey team. And pretty much what's going on is, let's just say this movie is, you know, has a little different plot lines. You got a budding romance. Let's just say uh, clothes come off and a little bit more than clothes come off. I'll, I'll let you watch it to understand. And then you got a side story with, uh, let's just say these aliens who can't reproduce themselves so... They're kind of using this uh, beer and other substances to uh, find a way to reproduce. And let's just say, uh, if you've seen the movie Aliens, let's just say it happens a lot, and you see you see all these little little puppets coming out of people. But anyway, Wolf Cop and his crew and slew of people are trying to end this evil businessman and his ploy and his plot to pretty much ruin this entire town. I'll leave it at that. You're going to have to watch to understand what I'm talking about and all the craziness that goes on. Uh, the thing I enjoyed about this movie a whole lot is, you know, like the practical effects, like I said. It is funny. It's over the top. And like I said, the, the reason I like it a little bit more than the first one is the fact that you get a full experience with the Wolf Cop. If you have a movie called Wolf Cop, you know, you, you're expecting it. The first one... Not as much. It was more towards the end, and uh, you didn't see it as much. This one, he kind of embraces his, his. I don't want to call it deformity or whatever, but in this one, he kind of uses his powers for good, and now is fighting aliens, among other things. Uh, again, it's more practical effects. The gore is actually, you know, pretty good for the, the different death scenes and what happens, and body parts flying here and there. Um, again, for I'm, I'm more of a practical person rather than the whole CGI. So you got a whole bunch of um, that in this one. 
Uh, the plot just keeps on going, and it, it starts and just goes. It doesn't take a little lull or anything. It's pretty pretty funny and pretty intense. And it's just one of those movies where um, you have to watch. And if you've seen the first one and you're like, yeah, you know, it, it wasn't my thing, because that's what I heard about the first one. The, the reviews weren't the greatest. Um, but this one, people, I guess, took accustomed to it. Not accustomed to it, but they took this one and enjoyed it, I think, a little bit more. I definitely did. Um, definitely check out the first one if you haven't, just to, everybody's got different tastes. But check out the first one to understand a little bit more with the second one. But if you like the over-the-top crazy movies that don't take themselves seriously this one is definitely for you so again i'll leave usually what i do if you're checking my review out for the first time i'll leave the link to where you can purchase the movie as well as the link to the trailer so you can check it out before you know actually watching the movie again me sometimes i'll get hooked to a trailer and just watch the movie and, and love it so check out another wolf cop again this is 31 days, I'll be doing it. Well, now 30 days. This is day number, uh, or 29 days. This is day number two. Check out my first day where, like I said, I did a little haul video where I got a few movies in the mail. I got a horror pack and a few movies sent to me. And definitely check out everybody else who's doing something along these lines. Uh, some people are doing, you know, older movies. Some people are doing sequels. Some people are just, you know, picking random movies. Again, I do more independent, and I try to do them in alphabetical order. Check out everybody who's doing it, because again, I'm sure everybody loves watching horror movies, and the more you know about, the more you can watch and enjoy, because there's a lot of movies that I think are going under the radar that people don't know, and that's why I'm choosing more independent stuff. So check out Wolf Cop, and then of course, another Wolf Cop. Check out day number one, and stick around for day number three, and I guess until tomorrow, I'll see you guys.